Hi guys, Alex here. I hope everyone is doing well and enjoying their Saturday afternoon at Jane's house. I bet it's awesome. Um, I really apologize for not being able to be there today. Um, I'm kind of out of town right now. Um, however, with the advent of technology and YouTube, I can still give you an update on what San Diego State Motor Board has been up to. And we have been up to a lot, let me tell you. Um, as Rachel might have told you already, I'm not sure. Um, we stuffed backpacks for the Tijuana children um, with USD, and it was fantastic. Uh, we had a really good turnout from both USD and SDSU. We, we packed everything in like 20, 30 minutes, um, and then we were able to spend time and get to know each other uh, a lot better. So it was really cool bonding time for USD and SDSU to kind of get to know each other and network a little bit. Um, fantastic. Uh, we are also um, recently just tapped all of our new members, which was fantastic. We had the best, I think, best tapping ever, but I don't know how I have anything to compare that to. So it was fantastic and it was really fun getting to go in their classrooms and embarrass them all. Well, not embarrass, but um, congratulate and honor them uh, for all their achievements. And it was definitely an achievement of six hour meeting to get all those new people um, initiated and Oh, it was crazy, but well worth it. Um, initiation went really well. It was a really nice ceremony. Uh, what day was that? Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Um, it was really awesome, and uh, I have great hope for the future of Mortarboard. I think we're leaving it in really good hands. Um, I know a couple of the people who are initiated, and I think it's just going to be a great next year, 2012-2013 year, um, and I hope that we're leaving it in good hands. Um, just to some future things on the docket. Uh, let's see, the first one, we have David Coleman, the love doctor, coming to SDSU. You all should come and join us. Um, that's going to be May 2nd from 7 to 8.30 p.m. It's a first come, first serve kind of thing. So everyone should get there and get their love advice, and it's going to be fantastic. I know I'll be in the front row, um, so definitely join us for that. Uh, also, we have our end of the year luncheon on April 29th, which I'm sure you guys are aware of. So if you could come and join us there as well. Um, on kind of a more somber note, we unfortunately um, lost our dear Leslie, like our foundational rock, um, which is really, really sad. And I'm really sad that I never got to meet her because I was away. Um, however, in honor of her memory, uh, tomorrow, I believe Sunday, April 22nd, they're having a celebration of her life, which is fantastic. Her family is going to be there, and it's going to be um, at 2 p.m. at the Parma Payne Alumni Center. So we really encourage everyone to go. Um, again, I'll unfortunately be out of town, um, but if I could be there, I definitely would be um, just to support her family and what she stood for at this university. She's done so much for us. So uh, in honor of her doing also so much for us, uh, we are planning a liver walk um, May 12th. It's from 6 to 10 a.m. at the zoo. You can go to the Liver Society. Um, I'll send out an email. Or Jane, I think, has already sent out the email. Um, it's been kind of going around um, where you can sign up to join us for that. Um, everyone's going to wear their mortarboard t-shirts and we're going to walk just to honor her life and what she stood for. So I do believe that's all my updates. Um, again, I'm really sorry that I couldn't be there. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful lunch, and I will see you at the alumni luncheon. Yay, party! Um, anyways, I hope everyone's doing well. Bye.